Hi, I'm Lori Hernandez, here to flip your workout into something extraordinary with Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas. Today we'll be working out with Wayne, a performer on Zumanity, a show that's a seductive twist on reality and that makes the provocative playful. Wayne performs the hand-to-hand -hand act with a partner. It requires brute strength, but also balance, skill, and body awareness. Ready to work out the Cirque way? Let's Cirque it out. Hey there, Matt and Wayne. Matt, why don't you tell us what we're doing today? Yeah, we'll be working with Wayne today. He's a hand-to-hand -hand artist over at Zumanity. Being able to move and manipulate your body is one task, but being responsible for another one's as well makes for some serious training. Hand-to-hand -hand requires the individual to not only have full body brute strength and power, but also fine movement, balance skills, and incredible awareness. The base must have tremendous lower extremity power, core stability, upper extremity strength, and full mobility. So this would include unilateral, bilateral, and full body movements that require both power and control while challenging his cardiovascular system. So that's what we have in store for today. That sounds amazing. I'll leave it to you guys to circuit out. Before we get started working out, we need to make sure we get through a proper warm up and movement prep. And also remember that before you start any workout program, you consult your physician to make sure it's appropriate for you. So to get started, we're gonna do our movement prep. And there's two sets, 20 repetitions each of five of the following movements. So first move we're gonna do is high knees. So Wayne, we're gonna start those high knees up. As he's doing these high knees, we wanna make sure he's getting his knees above his hips with his back straight. Perfect. The next movement we're gonna do is butt kickers. So first you wanna start with your knuckles on your bum. You wanna make sure you are trying to pull those heels all the way into your hands, keeping your shoulders up above your hips, and also trying to keep those knees underneath your hips. The next movement we're gonna go through is jumping jacks. So jumping jacks can be obviously very simple, but the one thing that I want to stress for this one is that we try to keep our elbows straight to generate as much mobility and movement through the shoulder as we can. Go ahead, Wayne. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent, great job, bro. Next movement in our warm up, we have air squats. We wanna to try to keep those toes facing forward. We wanna externally rotate those hips so those knees track over the toe. We're gonna to keep our hands out in front so that we can counterbalance as we drive our hips back and down into the squat. Perfect. So you can see here, his knees tracking over his toes, shoulders staying up, and his back is staying straight. Awesome job. And our final movement is our twisting heel touch. So Wayne, go ahead and open up that stance wire and those shoulders pointing those toes out. Awesome, we wanna make sure we come out to the side. And from here, we wanna make sure that we elicit this movement with the hips, not with the shoulders. And as you do that, we wanna twist the spine and reach down the back of the leg. Perfect, there you go. And then just add a little bit more momentum to it. Good, and as you do this, you should feel this in your hamstrings and your adductors. Good way. Perfect, good job. Moving forward, now we're gonna get into our uh, active mobility, right? So we have four movements within the active mobility. Same thing, we're gonna run through this for two sets, and you wanna do this for about 15 to 20 seconds for each movement. So the first movement, we're gonna assume to that, that front lunge position. Excellent. Place your hand uh, on that bent knee and take your other hand and place it straight up. We wanna try to open up this hip here, and we try to active, activate all this here by driving the hip forward, stretching out the front of the body. The next position we wanna to go to is both hands to the inside of the foot. The effort of this one is we wanna to try to keep the hips down and the chest up to try to generate as much mobility into those hips as we can. The third movement, we wanna take that right hand, place it closer to that bent leg, and then take the left arm and open it up towards that bent knee, adding thoracic mobility, as well as increasing that hip mobility on that opposite side. Good, and then the last movement, we wanna settle back to this back knee. We wanna straighten out that front leg. And in order to get the most out of this one, we wanna be active with this exercise. So we wanna dorsiflex those toes, we wanna to squeeze those quads, keeping your chest up, and then just shift your chest forward and you'll feel the stretch into the back of the legs right away. One thing you could do to change the stretch a little bit is by just allowing the knee to bend and then going into the stretch again. That will get you more in the belly of the muscle instead of behind the knee or the hip. 
Perfect, Wayne. Good. All right, so for this portion of the strengthening workout, we're going to use the Turkish getup. But we're going to add a little bit of a twist to this one. We're gonna do what's called an add-on. So it's gonna basically create more time under tension for Wayne uh, while he's in this Turkish getup. The way it works is there's seven steps, and we're gonna do each step at once and then start from the beginning each time. So let's see this in action. So Wayne is going to start by making that first press, and then he's gonna return back to the beginning. Then he's going to press, and he's gonna come up to the elbow, and then return back to the beginning. Good, Wayne. Now press, elbow, and now to the hand, and back to the beginning, following each step successfully on the way down. Press, elbow, hand. He's gonna drive his hip up into that hip bridge and return back following each step. And as you can see, this is keeping his shoulder, keep going, Wayne, under, much more tension than if you were to just run through this movement single time. Good, Wayne, and return back to the initial position. Yep, all the way back down, hip, elbow, shoulder. Good. This is now the sixth step. So he's coming up to his hand, his hip, he's gonna drive the knee under, he's gonna square his body up, and he's gonna return back again. Great job. And this was the seventh and final step. Press up to the elbow, to the hand, Drives up into his hip, pulls the knee under, squares his body, and he finishes by standing. And now he'll return all the way back to the beginning for one final return to the floor. Hip through, butt down, to the elbow, to the shoulder, and rest. Perfect. So that is a Turkish getup add-on. All right, now we're gonna move into the second portion of our strengthening. Uh, so now that we finished, finished the Turkish get-ups, which got his central nervous system and got him a bit more activated, now we're gonna be doing a little more of the grunt work, right? So we're gonna get into two movements that we're gonna superset. We're gonna do front squats, we're gonna do L-sit pull-ups, which we'll be doing behind us. So if you have the bar in front of you, if you feel confident enough in this movement, you may clean it up to the position. If it's something you're not as comfortable with, feel free to step it into a rack so you can just step underneath the bar. So Wayne is going to clean the weight up in front of him. And then from here, what he's going to try to stress, we're gonna to try to keep those elbows up and out. And as he goes down into the squat, he's gonna start with a big inhale and then drive his knees out and shoot his hips back. Perfect. Come on up to the top. We're gonna to do four more. So as he's sitting down, you can see he's driving his knees out. He's keeping the outsides of his feet and heels in contact with the ground. Chest is up and his breathing cadence is spot on. Good, one more time. The best part about this exercise is that it's gonna challenge all his anterior chain, so his abdominal muscles, his shoulders, and his lower extremity. So now we're gonna move into his L-sit pull-up. So I'm gonna have Wayne hop underneath the bar. You can hold the bar in whichever way you want, reverse grip, overhand grip, uh, overhand underhand, that's totally up to you. What we wanna to try to do here is lengthen all the way to the bottom, lift the legs up into an L, and then from here, control that movement as you go through the full range of motion of the pull-up. Excellent. So what this offers us is core control and strength integrated into the lats as well. Good, two more for me, brother. There you go, one more time. Excellent, perfect. And what we do is we'd superset these two movements back to back for about five sets. You'll do 10 front squats, five pull-ups. All right, now that we've finished our strengthening portion of the workout, we're gonna move forward into our conditioning portion. The conditioning portion has three exercises in it, all of which are going to be used uh, with a dumbbell. So, first of which, we have dumbbell snatch, we have dumbbell overhead walking lunge, we have dumbbell bent row, and then just to spice it up, we're also gonna add a burpee, but I'll tell you in a little bit how we're gonna include that into it. So the first thing we're gonna review is the movements, and then I'll tell you how the workout design goes. So, Wayne, first movement is a snatch. So as we go through this movement, we want to make sure that remember this is a primarily lower extremity movement. So the power is going to be coming from his lower extremity, traveling through his core, up through his shoulder. Go ahead, Wayne, give us a couple of reps. Good. So as you can see, he's starting with the power from the lower extremity, keeping his core tight so that the energy travels through the shoulder. So in this movement, you can see that at no time Wayne is ever pushing this, this movement. He's always pulling it to the ceiling the whole time. 
Excellent. So the next movement we have for you is an overhead walking lunge. So once you finish going through those snatches, you're gonna keep that weight above your head in whichever arm you've, you've finished with, and you're gonna proceed into lunges. So Wayne, go ahead and grab the weight. So we'll say he's finished the snatch, he's got the weight over his head, and make sure as you step, you just touch the knee down in front of you while keeping your shoulders over your hips. There you go. So this is gonna force Wayne to keep his midline really tight, his shoulder stability on, and also just drive power out of his legs. Perfect, Wayne, great job. The last movement we're gonna do in this circuit is a bent row. So what we're gonna do is go into the row. So we're gonna set him back into a deadlift position, which is gonna get his back engaged, and the majority of the weight carried by his glutes and his hamstrings. So once he picks up the weight, he's going to supinate the weight and row into his torso while resisting any sort of rotation in his torso, while maintaining all that weight sitting back into his hips. Awesome, perfect, good. So those are the three movements that comprise this workout. The way it works is we're gonna set it up into three sets. And how it goes is he's going to finish 20 snatches, then 20 overhead lunges, and then 20 bent rows. Now it's totally up to you on which arms you wanna do that with. So if you wanted to, you can alternate arms. You can do five on one side and then five on the other. You just gotta get through 20. The second movement is the same way for the overhead lunges. Just walk. If you wanna do all 20 with it in one arm, that's fine. You can break it up and do five and five or 10 and 10. Again, up to you. And the same goes for the rows. Row it on one side, row it on the other, break it up as you need to until you finish 20 reps. Here's the wrench in the whole thing. Every minute on the minute, you're gonna stop what you're doing and do five burpees. So Wayne, why don't you show us a good clean burpee so everyone has a good idea of what we're doing here. So he's gonna go down, his entire body will, will touch the floor, and then when he comes up, he's jumping into his heels with his hips underneath him so he can jump out of the burpee. Perfect, Wayne, good. So remember, the idea here is to complete the workout as quickly as possible. 20 reps of each movement in order, followed by every minute on the minute, you're gonna stop what you're doing wherever you are and complete five burpees. The idea is just to get through, like I said, as fast as you can. So there is a bit of strategy involved as to keeping yourself moving uh, with resting as little as possible and not allowing yourself to redline or get too tired so it forces you to slow down. So good luck with this one and we'll get right at it. You know, this kind of physical performance is all about having fun. So I hope that those of you watching had fun too and that you keep trying this workout to see how it benefits you. Don't forget to stay active with Cirque du Soleil on our next episode. There's a lot more. See you soon.